Have you ever been in a situation where you don't have a Windows, Microsoft, Xbox controller for your PC and you're like, hey, I have a PlayStation 4 DualShock controller, let's plug it in. I mean, let me just show you it's complacent right now. It's not working! <laughs> Why are you not working? I don't have money for an Xbox controller. Why? It's okay, I have you covered. Today I'm gonna teach you how to get a PlayStation or DualShock Pro controller to work on Windows 10. This is going to be epic and there's gonna be a lot of cats in my videos as always. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click on the adorable little bell icon and if you want, like the video and leave a comment it helps me massively in youtube growth and i truly appreciate it and thank you all for hanging out with me so far and yes i got a little cat on my lap she's like mom my controller doesn't work please help me yes even the cats are gonna get help in this house all right let's get started so i'm going to show you a very simple how to guide to find a driver what the driver's called how to install it and then this will no longer be yellow, it will be blue, meaning Windows 10 recognizes it. This is gonna be awesome. And you know what, I'm gonna even take it one step further. If you don't know the website, you can't remember it, just write in Google, PlayStation controller support for Windows. You know, I have to learn to type better. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it in the Google research or if they don't have SEO. You know what they don't? And there you go, right in the bottom here. They're called ds4windows.com and you can click on it, it's entirely safe. Boom! So, this is gonna be a very simple guide. Use your PlayStation 4 controller on your PC to its full potential. I will actually leave a link in the video and I will even put it in the comments if you guys want because this is going to be a massive life changer. So here you see you have a massive, ex well massive, you've got a simple explanation. The, the user inter interface is easy. Anyone can use it. You've got a profile system set up, which is really helpful. You've got also automatic profiles and tons of options. All right, you can even learn more if you really want to. Okay, this takes you down there. And then you go to download now. Now, you people be like, but what am I going to click on? There's so many clickables. Well, don't you worry. So, of course, you want the latest version. So, you just click on this one ds4windows.zip. Zippity, zippity, zippity doop, zippity, zippity, zippity dab. And then you click on this cute little folder icon here. And if you would lose this folder icon, I have you covered. Just press Ctrl J on the computer and then you get like all these downloadables and no I don't have any porn on this computer and then you just click show and folder now I've been very lazy with extracting my files but here you go you have the DS4 update and now I'm super lazy I'm gonna do this all normally you should click on extract all but I like to challenge my operator system so I just like to do this so you can choose extract all, you can select an area, I would not recommend to put it in your downloads folder, don't be me. If you do, you might end up being a bit screwed. And yes, I know I have a boobies folder, thank you for Smilebringer for trolling me when I was AFK. So where should we put it? So I have a lot of crap. So I'm just gonna put it on my desktop, because I am that lazy. Wait, and you can also make a folder, the <laughs> backslash, I don't know where you are, uh, oh my god, I, I have this most amazing computer ever, you know what, cause my keyboard Scandinavian and not English, I'm just gonna do this, backslash and then, <laughs> yeah, name of boobers, let's just call it PS4. PS4 controller, and it will actually create the folder for you, and just extract boom there you go so the computer made myself a new folder called the ps4 controller now you have the updater the updater will update the software for you you can just double click it if you want but as you see it says ds4 windows is up to date instead let's go to here so here you go here's the software 
And now my controller is already connected to Windows 10. Now you just press on start. And boom, Windows 10 finds it. It's that simple. I'm going to leave some timestamps on the video so you know if you don't want to listen to my voice chat about blah and boobies and whatever, you can just <laughs> you can just go straight to the point. Alrighty. So now you see there's a beautiful blue light on my DualShock Pro controller, meaning it now will run all the games. So I can just play games on Steam, I can play games on any platform, any games from any folder, and it should work perfectly. I've now gotten full control, and yet I can even do different profiles, layouts, whatever. Some games will even allow you to change the button setup. If not, you can just do it in Windows, and the game will copy that profile over. It's quite simple. I use this a lot. Because, let me tell you something, I use the PlayStation 4 controller instead of the, of the Microsoft controller. Why? Because I've been having a lot of issues with the Windows controller or Microsoft controller. I feel it doesn't work as well and the DualShock Pro ab absolutely has no problem. The button layout is super simple, it fits really well on my hands because as you can see I don't have big hands. All in all, I hope this guide was super helpful. I hope you can now save some money, enjoy playing games using your favorite controller. Anyways, if you like my video, feel free to subscribe to me on Coffee. Coffee is an amazing platform that helps you to support your favorite content creators and they get all the money, meaning I don't pay anything to the platform whatsoever. And your name will be in the YouTube credits. I also want to thank my wonderful friend Power79 for actually giving me this driver because I completely forgot it existed before. You're a life savior. Thank you so much. This video wouldn't have been here if it wasn't for you. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate you. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.